thank you for holding this hearing, uh, Mr. Chairman. I think it's so important for your subcommittee to shine a spotlight on Nicaragua and the abusive actions orchestrated by Daniel Ortega and his decrepit regime. You have described them. The ranking member, Albio Sirius, has described them. We all know it. And on December 1st, 2011, when I was chair of the Foreign Affairs Committee, I held a hearing on elections in Nicaragua. And now here we are, five years later, nada has changed. In February 2016, Ortega detained and expelled Freedom House Latin America director, Dr. Carlos Ponce. And in June of 2016, Ortega expelled three United States government officials. Ortega has also forced the Nicaraguan Supreme Court to not recognize the leaders of two opposition political parties. He has even removed 28 opposition deputies and alternates from the National Assembly without any due process and in the most undemocratic way possible. Then he chose his wife to be his running mate in the un upcoming illegitimate elections in an effort to extend the Ortega dynasty at the expense of the people. We have seen Ortega send his cronies to break up peaceful marches by Nicaraguan civil society and peaceful protesters who are simply calling for inclusive elections uh, to be observed by international and domestic experts. If these problems sound familiar to you, Mr. Chairman, is because we have seen these deplorable acts in the Western Hemisphere just a bit too often. Ortega is taking a page out of the Maduro and Castro playbook on how to silence the opposition and maintain a grip on power. And while the failed policies toward Cuba and Venezuela tend to grab the headlines, we cannot forget about the other rogue regimes in the region, like Nicaragua, that subvert democratic principles. What is it going to take for us to take action? Russian tanks are in Nicaragua. What do we think they're going to be used for? Of course, it's going to be to scare and intimidate the public, just like the national police and the military is being used by Ortega to abuse the people and violate their human rights as we speak. We cannot give Ortega a free pass on these actions. I know that State Department officials will say that at least Nicaragua is cooperating with the U.S. on counter-narcotics operations, but the truth, we've got to start holding Ortega and his ilk accountable. And seeing the tepid response from the international community, Ortega has ignored the Nicaraguan Constitution, manipulated the nation's Supreme Court and its Electoral Council to empower his regime and silence his opposition. So I thank you for the markup and the passage of this resolution uh, to say that they've got to hold free, fair, and transparent elections, promote democracy, strengthen the rule of law, respect the right of freedom of association, or they don't get these loans from the United States and the international community. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman.